Joshua chapters 15 through 17, from the King James Version, chapter 15, This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom the wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the Salt Sea, from the bay that Luketh southward, and it went out to the south side to Melihakrabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron. And went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka, from thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of that coast were at the sea, this shall be your south coast. And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan, and the border went up to Bethogla, and passed along by the north of Betharaba, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Acre. And so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Adummim, which is on the south side of the river, and the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrajal, and the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite, the same is Jerusalem, and the border went up to the top of the mountain that leath before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border was drawn to Bala, which is Kirjathirim, and the border compassed from Bala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chasalon, on the north side, and went down to Bethshemesh, and passed on to Timnah, and the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Bala, and went out unto Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Sheshai, and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kirjothsephir. And Caleb said, He that smitteth Kirjothsephir, and taketh it, to him will I give Axa my daughter to wife. And Othniel the son of Kenas, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Axa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land, give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs, and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Kebzeel, and Eder, and Jagger, and Kena, and Dimona, and Adada, and Kadesh, and Hazer, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Telam, and Beeloth, and Hazer, Hadada, and Kerioth, and Hezron, which is Hazer, Ammam, and Shema, and Malada, and Hazargada, and Heshman, and Bethpalat, and Hazarshul and Beersheba, and Bizjothja, Bala, and Iim, and Azam, and Eltalad, and Chesel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmanna, and Sansana, and Lebaoth, and Shilim, and Ain, and Rimmon, all the cities are twenty and nine, with their villages, and in the valley, Eshtael, and Zoria, and Ashna, and Zenoa, and Enganim, Tapua, and Inam, Jarmuth, and Adullam, Soko, and Azekah, and Sharaim, and Adathaim, and Gedera, and Gederothaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zenon, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, and Dilean, and Mizpeh, and Jokthiel, Lachish, and Bozkath, and Eglon, and Kabbon, 
and Lamam, and Kithlish, and Gedaroth, Bethdagon, and Naama, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jifta, and Ashna, and Nezib, and Kela, and Aksib, and Mershah, nine cities with their villages, Ekron, with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod, with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea, and the border thereof, and in the mountains, Shamir, and Jadar, and Soko, and Danna, and Kirjathsana, which is Debir, and Anab, and Eshtimo, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holon, and Jilo, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, and Duma, and Ishin, and Janum, and Bethtapua, and Afika, and Humta, and Kirjatharba, which is Hebron, and Zir, nine cities with their villages, Mayan, Carmel, and Ziph, and Juttah, and Jezreel, and Jokdim, and Zenoah, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages, Halhol, Bethzer, and Geder, and Merith, and Bethanoth, and Eltakon, six cities with their villages, Kirjothbal, which is Kirjathirim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Betharabah, Middin, and Sekika, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and Engedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Chapter 16 And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho, unto the water of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel, and goeth out from Bethel to Luz, and passeth along unto the borders of Arki to Adaroth, and goeth down westward to the coast of Japhleti, unto the coast of Betharon the nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim, took their inheritance. And the border of the children of Ephraim according to their families was thus, even the border of their inheritance on the east side was a tarothadar, unto Betharon the upper, and the border went out toward the sea to Mikmatha on the north side, and the border went about eastward unto Tanathshilo, and passed by it on the east to Janaha, and it went down from Janaha to Adaroth, and to Nereth, and came to Jericho, and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under tribute. Chapter 17 There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for Mekir the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abizer, and for the children of Helech, and for the children of Israel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida, these were the male children of Manasseh the son of Joseph by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Mala, and Noah, Hagla, Milcah, and Tirzah. And they came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore according to the commandment of the Lord he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Mikmatha, 
that leith before Shechem, and the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants of Intapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river, these cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh, the coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea, southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border, and they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had in Issachar and in Asher Bethshean and her towns, and Iblim and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Ender and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanak and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxen strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit? Seeing I am a great people, forasmuch as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto. And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Bethshean and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power, thou shalt not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine, for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong.